<coughs> I did do it right. Oh my God, I didn't break it. Lord, Lord Jesus, there's a fire. How are we doing, guys? Welcome in. Wow, what a difference a day makes. Um, last night, or yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, beautiful weather. No snow on the ground. All melting away. All melting away. <clears throat> How you doing, Colonel? Right, all melting away. Wake up this morning, not too bad. A little cold. Now we're getting snow again. There was no snow. Hi, Barb. There was no snow. And now we got snow again. Son of a... Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right back to it. <clears throat> and it is... It is I don't know, it looks like it's melting already. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> it really is the weirdest thing. It looks like it's gonna stick around for a minute and then, but they're talking about it. They're talking about a wintry mix for the rest of the day. So we'll see what happens. But uh, food last night was good. Um, yeah, food last night was really good. The salmon, salmon turned out really good. The uh, fresh nose okay. Slushy, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so it was so cold here though that the the so where where the snow comes off the barn roof, it it has like a big a big stripe of like ice cold, you know, like really really thick, tall, like ice packed into the ground. So I've got like a stripe that goes all the way the length of the barn. You could, I mean, you could literally walk around the stripe and walk into the barn, no problem. But it's just weird where. Every time it snows, it slides off the roof and just packs on top of the other stuff. So uh, <laughs> I've got like a racing stripe, but uh, and now of course all the all the yards covered and everything. But it's now I can see it now melting off the roof. So who knows what the heck is going on? But uh, yeah, I'm not going out there if I don't have to. Not at all. So this evening, anybody know what a no, no, I, uh, Dave probably does because Dave's probably into his like, you know, he knows all this. He knows all his terms. You know what a trencher is, and I don't mean like a hold a, a digger for a. <laughs> I don't mean that, that like a trencher, but this is a kind of. I I was the thing that I'm making today. So I'm making a steak sandwich. I wanted to make a steak sandwich. I was like, yep, yeah, I want to make this. I found some nice steaks for a steak sandwich. <coughs> well, a trencher is <clears throat> and if you put exclamation mark menu it'll tell you but it's a pretty interesting thing back in the medieval times in england they used to call bread well they used to call this sandwich it is it is dave so what they what they actually would say is crusty bread whatever you can whatever you can um it's a vessel for crusty bread or you serve it's a vessel to serve food but the food is typically on crusty bread. How you doing, Bar uh, Bear Fan? How are you, mate? Uh, so yeah, so I was like, well, I'm making a steak sandwich. So I found a, a really, really nice, cool recipe for it. We're gonna use ciabatta bread, because ciabatta bread's a nice crusty bun. Doing well, awesome. So that's a nice, yeah, that's a nice crusty bun. So we're gonna do, we got some steaks. Then we're gonna do a, then because I found out that this was a British Thing, this trencher thing I thought now I need to make a British dessert nice buns so I, I need to make a British dessert so when I was on my escapades the other day I found lions oh I'm on the wrong one hold on hold on I found in all my travels lions golden syrup Thank you. So I'm making lion's golden syrup. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm using lion's golden syrup. It's already made. What am I making? What am I making? Does, see if Dave knows what I'm making. Yeah. Golden syrup tart, treacle tart. Yes, I am, Dave. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, I'm making it, actually, I'm making a treacle, treacle, uh, treacle sponge cake is what I'm making because I didn't have enough time to get the stuff to make the tart but I'm making a treacle sponge did the Italian hat and apron get you lucky you seem flustered today no I'm not no I, I had some uh, uh, we're, <laughs> no <all right. laughs> 
Book of Titans, yeah, it's one of mine too. But that's what I thought about doing, or a, um, the, uh, what's it called? Um, the pudding, treacle pudding, where you, where you, uh, you know, where you do it in the oven, in the basin. But I, I don't have a basin, so, um, but I love golden syrup. I abs I could drink this stuff. I love this stuff. I really do. I love this stuff. So, we had some people show up last night um, to look at the house <laughs> right during my stream. You saw them walking around. Um, very, very nice people. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, do I do custard or do I do, do I do ice cream? Because we've done a lot of custard recently. This will be the third dish we've done with custard. So I'm going to leave it up to debate. We'll have a, we'll do a poll or something. We got a lot more people in. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So we had we had some people show up when I was streaming last night. Now we knew they were <clears throat> at four o'clock. They called and said, "Hey, we're coming over." And I was like, um, "I'm in them my streaming." Um, true, true. That's true, Dave. I didn't think about that. So yeah. So these people showed up and. Um, well, that we, like we kind of knew they were coming. Well, I kind of said, it's four o'clock. I'm starting my stream. I'm really sorry, but, you know, can they come another time? And um, the guy was like, yeah, it was kind of, was kind of, uh, was kind of a crazy time for them. But they were driving from New York. So anyway, so I called them back. Well, Laura called them back and said, you know what? If, if they want to come, they can come. So they drove four hours to look at the house. They were here for three hours. <laughs> looking around the house we took them outside it was pitch black in the dark all of us had cell phones there were six of us out there with cell phones <laughs> showing them around the property and they want to come back tomorrow uh, they want to come back sometime over the weekend and look at the outside of the house again um, so anybody got fingers and toes cross them for me will you because <clears throat> uh, well, boy we could use this one um, had barbecue chicken with beans and chips. <coughs> then had a pancake made with oldies protein yogurt, egg, flour, and some creme delish. Three pancakes topped with fruit cocktail, vanilla yogurt, three different sauces. Um, creme delish in pancakes is another level compared to crumble. Oh yes. Oh yes. Thank you, James. <laughs> what is that, Dave? What on earth is that? <laughs> it's not showing me what that emote is. What is that? Oh, fingers. <laughs> it's so small, I couldn't make it out. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so it's really good. Uh, Butler, I don't know if you have a waffle maker as well. It's excellent in waffles too. Excellent. Isn't that the sign for live or something? Love in Japan. What, fingers crossed? What, like that? <laughs> uh, you know what? I love it all, if it is. I'd love it all. Absolutely. Right, so first things first. We're going to... We're going to... First of all, we're going to pound the meat. Then we're going to rub the meat. We're going to do all of the above for the meat. That a finger and a thumb. Oh, hmm. so we've got two little, two steak sandwiches that we're going to do. We're not going to pound it much more than this, but just I want to tenderize it a little bit just so that I can. Um, um, which one? Which one, Dave? Like is that a mug? That's in mine? That's in mine? No, it ain't, is it? I have absolutely no idea. Looks like a peach getting a smack to me. <laughs> what on earth? Wow, 
I don't know, but that's quite funny. <laughs> Holy crap. For anybody that's a... <laughs> For anybody that's offended by a peach getting a smack, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. <laughs> I seriously don't know why that's in there. <laughs> I seriously don't know why that's in there. Oh my God. Woo! Anyway. Ah, oh, so this is a, this is a round steak that they cut for me. Um, <laughs> This is a round steak that they cut for me because um, I was trying to look for like a thin steak, but I didn't want to go like that and write real shaved stuff. So they cut this for me. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna tend it. Just some. <laughs> the peach has killed me. <laughs> the peach has killed me. I don't know what the hell that's doing in there. Yeah, so I'm not really, I'm not really like pounding it out. I'm just tenderizing it. But yeah, so these people last night seemed like they were pretty interested. So hopefully. And they don't have to, ha and they don't have a house they have to sell, which is even better. So all the prayers, all the prayers you can give, give them. <laughs> oh man, what's that going on there? All right, so we are going to lay these in here. Oh man, we're going to do some hand cut potato chips too, uh, to go with this. There, there you go. <laughs> that's the one. That's like, that's like the lottery one, isn't it? It's like the lottery one in England, isn't it, that one? So, a little olive oil. Some, oh, some thyme. Ain't nobody got time for that. But we got time for this, so. we we'll put some thyme in here. Plenty of time. <laughs> oh dear. Dear oh dear. <laughs> oh my god. I have, I have no idea how that peach got in there. Honestly. Some garlic. Good stuff though. Yeah, yeah, we all know you added it. Honestly, Dave, I... Uh... <laughs> Why would I add a peach like that? I would have added a butt. Press F. Hey, eh? Press F. F. <laughs> if I did, Dave, I don't know where... <laughs> I don't remember the... I don't remember when I added it. That's bad, isn't it? Whoa! We're gonna add a little bit of the bourbon smoke. This is the last little bit of bourbon smoke salt we got. Left. We're out of the pepper. This is the last bit of salt. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. That's all we're gonna add to that. That's, that's literally everything that's going in there. It's snowing so hard now, it looks like it's raining outside. Crazy. It's literally snowing so hard, it looks like it's raining. All right, then all we're gonna do is just leave these sit in here. These will cook fast. These will cook fast, but I mean, it's not a problem. So what we're gonna do with this also, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do 
arugula or rocket, um, arugula, rocket, red onions, um, tomatoes. I'm gonna do some uh, cherry tomatoes and like burst them, put them on the heat just until they just about burst and that's gonna go on there as well. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Homemade chips, handmade chips. I'm gonna use some of the Grill Your Ass Off uh, seasoning on those chips. If I've got one that's suitable, I can't remember what I've got left. And then of course the treacle sponge. treacle sponge for the dessert. I guess I should probably do custard, hey? Hey, I hope you, oh, good. Um, I did think of putting the chocolate espresso sea salt in the pancakes, but I didn't. You ever had beef? I've had beef. I've never had venison. I've had, I've had beef. Ve so, I'm a little bit fussy when it comes to venison. I don't mind it but I, it's on a very rare occasion. Like I, I can't eat that all the time. And like, there's a lot of people around here that, that deer hunt and they're like, hey, you want some deer meat? No, thanks. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> they're like, why don't you want it? <clears throat> like I just, you know, it's too rich. It, deer meat to me tastes very, very rich. Gives me a stomach ache if I eat too much of it. And so I just was like, nah. Enjoy it yourself. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely a, definitely an acquired taste. <coughs> Venison, that is. I ordered it by mistake and it wasn't like a just a tiny bit. It was a sharing platter. Oh my God. You eat it all though, nice. Venison is the healthiest red meat out there. You can have at it, Butler. Have at it. I've eaten, I've eaten, um, like, I, like I said, I, I, I do like it. It's just, I, it's on rare occasion because it just messes my stomach up because it's too rich. I've got loads of recipes for it. Like I, I used to do it when I worked in a, I worked in a steel mill when we lived in Pennsylvania because I couldn't find a job in the kitchen. When we lived in Pennsylvania, when we first, when we very, when Laura very first got out the service. So what, how, <clears throat> what happened, right? So me and Laura got married. We moved to South Dakota, and then um, that was in 1992, and then. Um, Laura was working a job where she was in the missile field and she was gone all the time. So she said, you know what, this sucks, I'm thinking of getting out. I'm like, all right, whatever you want to do, get out, that's fine. So she goes to see her, she was at a time where she could leave, and so she goes to see her commanding officer, and her commanding officer's like, all right, fair enough. So she got out. When you get out, <clears throat> well, when you got out, when she got out then, they, they, asked her if she wanted to stay in the reserves. She stayed in the reserves and she was working with a reserve unit out of Pittsburgh airport. So we went, <clears throat> we moved back to Pittsburgh. We were living in Laura's grandmother's house because her grandmother had just passed away and the house was brand newly remodeled. So we moved into the house. Well, I couldn't find a job in a restaurant. So I went to work as a janitor in a steel mill. I was a janitor for two weeks and then they put me on a forklift and I was a forklift and what they used to do, the place where I worked at, they made train wheels, elevator wheels, like the wheels to drive the elevators, the train wheels and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> and so I was working there and uh, those guys found out that I was a chef and they would bring their deer meat into work. We cut oil drums and barbecues, we cut oil drums into barbecues. And every Friday night, I'd have like six oil drum barbecues going with all this deer meat and stuff on the back. <laughs> so um, we would do it with, uh, we would like put smashed blueberries into it, which was good. It wasn't as rich then, it was good. 
but there's, there's tons and tons and tons of different recipes. I've eaten crocodile, kangaroo, venison, buffalo, ostrich, rabbit, kadu, guinea fowl, bloody hell. Proper crocodile Dundee you are, ain't you? <laughs> Call you Outback Jack. Dear, oh dear. I just don't see the point of eating all that, really. I mean, just not my not my thing. I guess you do what you like. <laughs> no, that's that's a fact. Butler's like, if it's here, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> crocodile. What would what what in the what made you want to eat crocodile? You eat that before it ate you? Kangaroo meat, I've had kangaroo meat. I've had buffalo. I've had rabbit. Rabbit's no big deal at all. Rabbit's, rabbit tastes like chicken. But like, crocodile, ostrich, like why? Oh yeah, I've eaten octog. Shit, shit, I eat that. I eat that when I go to the store. Down there. I eat that when I go out every weekend. <laughs> if we ever go out, that's what I get is octopus. Love the stuff. Shark, swordfish. I, it's just like, what made you eat ostrich? Like, oh yeah, there's, there's a nice piece of steak there, but you know what? I'm going to go with the ostrich instead. I don't know. That's just. You do you. <laughs> That's like putting pineapple on the pizza, isn't it? You do you. Or ketchup on your steak. Monkfish? Oh yeah, monkfish is excellent. Monkfish is excellent. Thing is, if you're fishing and you catch something like that, you're like, oh, all right, yeah, okay, got that. But like, you literally must have pointed out, oh yeah, I want ostrich. Like, why? <laughs> I'm not making fun of you, I just, it's, it's just an unusual thing. Oh yes, I'm going to have ostrich tonight. Mm. Squid, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's none of that's rare. Uh, squid, you can get that anywhere. Shark, you can get that anywhere. Red snapper, you can get that anywhere. Yeah, that's, that's like a, that's on a regular, you can go to a regular fish restaurant and get half of that. It's probably a little bit more unusual over in England that you can get that stuff. <clears throat> Thing is, like that type of fish, I'm going to tell you right now, that type of fish, if you ate that in England, I guarantee you at one point it was frozen. Get yourself on other celebrity. <laughs> I've eaten goat. Yeah, I have as well. Because there's, there's no way you've got red snapper that's going to be fresh in the UK. That was frozen at one point. Ah, oh, again, no big deal. All right, so I'm gonna slice up the potato chips. Slice up the potato chips as well. Yeah, it's all an acquired taste, isn't it? Everything, really, you know? You either like it or you don't. And if you don't like it, it's totally fine. Do what you gotta do, isn't it? There's lots of people that we were talking. I was talking about curry yesterday to some people, and they're like, "Oh no, I can't eat it. It's too spicy." I'm like, "Yeah, but not all curries are spicy." They're like, "Yeah, but it's just the Indian spice is too much." You know, it's too much. Like, just that's just because you don't like the curry spice. It's not that you don't like the curry. <clears throat> It's not like that you don't like the curry itself, you just don't like the spice curry. Because it, uh, <clears throat> not all curries are spicy. They have a certain spice to them, but they're not all spicy. These, these potatoes are on their way out big time. I'm glad this is the last two. Could ship it across lot, yeah. That's a hell of a journey for a piece of live fish though, isn't it? 
be a, cost you a second mortgage to eat that then, wouldn't it? Imagine trying to keep a, a fish alive, shipping it. Milford goes out in Newcastle every weekend and sees a red snapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I said snapper, not slapper. <laughs> oh god. Plenty of them in Stoke. <laughs> What, the red snappers or slappers? <laughs> I guess it depends on where you go, right? <clears throat> yeah, shark, swordfish, all that. That's, that's... Shark's nice. Swordfish is nice. Tuna. Ahi tuna. That surprised me, Dave, that you, you ate that venison raw. That surprises me. Not that you're a picky eater, not like you're, but like that surprises me that you would eat that raw. Did it give you, did it upset your stomach a little bit? Like for being rich? Because I bet that was a rich tasting thing, yeah. Ooh. Again, I ordered it by mistake and was like, okay. <laughs> Did it mess your stomach up a little bit? Because I tell you right now, it would have mine. I just uh, wasn't too bad, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what it is about venison and, and even goat. Goat does the same thing to me. Venison and goat. I, I can't eat much of that because it really messes my stomach up. Super, super thinly sliced wasn't too filling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now you can tell you got a good knife when you can slice potatoes like that. Like, ooh. No, no, no mandolin needed here. <laughs> Navy Psychonaut, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Again, we're gonna we're gonna do this the same way as we usually do the the fries. We're just gonna hence why it's raw and I believe it's like pickled or smoked. Yeah, could be cold smoked. <clears throat> I think they do add a little bit of uh, I think they do add a little bit of vinegar to it as well though. So yeah, look just on that little bit there. Look how much of that starch is in those in this potato. That's a lot. But uh, yeah, I mean that's a that's definitely a. Where was that at, Dave? Was that was that was that in England? Oil and oil and vinegar. Yep, yep. Was that at home or when you was on vacation somewhere? Oh, gotcha. All right. Well, then it didn't matter, did it? You weren't worried about it. Yeah, you said it was a mistake, but you was having a good night anyway, so that's all good. They're the mistakes that you don't mind, you know, when you're out having a good time and your mates and everything, and that's the mistakes you don't worry about. I bet you would tell... Look, you know that like that, those pictures and stuff you sent. I bet the, I bet that was like some high quality venison too. It wasn't just like your, wasn't just like your. Oh, quick! There's a deer running across the street. Bang! It wasn't like that. You know, it was definitely handled well. Restaurant Meredith. Hmm. 
Peace. Holland, how are you? Well, we got told we basically had to order a bottle of wine to the table or they would kick us out. Well, there you go then, you see. <laughs> Happy Tuesday to you too, my friend. How's it going? I'm doing well. Doing well. Milford must have missed the, the question about the trencher. So yeah, so this trencher is a medieval British thing. Basically, it's a bread, which is a vessel for the meat. <laughs> very, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, so exactly. So it's not like it's some, so it's not like something running around the street, bang, you know, this, that thing's probably, that probably, probably dry aged and everything else. That thing was probably well looked after before you ate it. <laughs> treacle sponge so Milford the only reason why I even did the treacle sponge right um, I was looking I'm getting a lot of buffering is that my side I haven't dropped any frames yet I haven't dropped any yet but that doesn't mean I'm not going to <laughs> um, when I uh, I was I found so I was wanting to do a steak sandwich anyway Right, I wanted to do the steak sandwich anyway. And so I bought the steak and then I came home and I'm like, right, what am I gonna do with it? So I started looking up what I could do with it. Well, then I found this trencher thing talking about medieval times and all this stuff. And I was like, well now if I'm gonna do a, 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 an English steak sandwich, then I need to do an English dessert. So I was looking up, I was trying to find a, one of those bowls to do like a treacle pudding, you know, where you could, where you put it in the oven and. Um, what do you do with it? You poach it, not poach it. What do you do with it? Steam it, steamed pudding, steamed trick, you know, but I couldn't find one. But when I was out at the store, I found some lion's golden syrup. So I was like, well, I'll have a couple of them then. So that's why I'm doing the treacle pudding, the treacle cake. Now, again, I could have done this with a, I could have done this with a mandolin. I don't want to bother washing it. <clears throat> Liverpool can say goodbye to the Champions League. Oh, they're losing, are they? Hell, they were winning 2 nothing, and then they went to 2-2. Two -two. I saw it at 2-2. Two -two. Sticky toffee pudding. That's what I was going to make, but but you need the... Um, yeah, I need one of those... Um, I need one of those steamer uh, things. A pudding basin, and I don't have one. Minus two, Rob is in and out, only heard bits and pieces. <clears throat> hmm. Five, two? Bloody hell. Yeah, I've not dropped any frames at all. Yeah, I've not dropped any frames whatsoever. It's a miracle. <laughs> It's a miracle. Don't be like that. So Natural Grid, just National Grid, which is my electric company, just sent me a text message, right? We're preparing for snow, sleet and ice and high winds expected tomorrow and Thursday. Oh boy. Sticky toffee pudding is elite. I do like it. Like I said, if I could have, if I had one of those those basins, I'd have made that. But I don't have a basin, so um, and you need the basin. I was trying to figure a way, like a cheat code, how to do it. But uh, everything said you pretty much can't. That's one of them. That's one of them that you uh, you don't really want to mess, like try to mess with the original way of doing it. So I just said, well, we ain't doing it then. Rob does not love the snow. Rob's ready for the snow to go away. Yeah, I haven't got one. Well, I have, but if I did it in a slow cooker, you guys wouldn't see it. So if I could do this treacle thing, you can see that. So. I'll tell you what, that uh, blueberry and pumpkin pie thing that I made last night. Oh my God, Laura was like, yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna like this. 
Like I know you said the you said that the, when you made the face I, when you she tasted the ice cream you liked the ice cream, but she said I'm not really sure I'm going to like this pie. I said all right, so I poured over the blueberry honey to, over the top, and uh, I had you know I had a slice I had a slice and everything. I walked away, cleaned the kitchen, came back in, cleaned the kitchen, walked away. Right. I come back in the kitchen to make a cup of tea like two hours later and here she is with a spoon <laughs> eating the thing out of the there's this much of the thing left say this was the pie there's this much left she was killing it she loves it she loves it she she liked that uh she liked the meal last night too She had a bit of a rough day at work yesterday as well. It was extremely busy. So she, when she when she came home, she came home a little bit early after going to the store. No, honest to God, I t I tell her every time. I told them what you. I told them. I said, listen. I told them that you like this, like this, and like this, and and they're like, she's like, I I could tell them. I say, yeah, but you never do. How you doing, Ro How you doing, Andy? Um. But no, she does. She she's a she has a sweet tooth, an extreme sweet tooth. That's why I thought this treacle pudding would be a good one. This treacle uh, cake. I know she'll like this. Plus, if I make it big enough, I'll get a couple more slices. <laughs> uh, oh man, she's she's the ice cream. She was she was definitely like. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this ice cream. Oh my god. And then the uh, the blueberry honey over the top of it, really, really like. I just made myself a tea. There you go. What kind of tea was it? Really sorry about this question, but totally crevice. Are you going to go my way? I'm not. I'm not a sweet tooth at all. I'm not in salt person either it's an orange pico Ooh. it should be it should be this is the tea that you need this is the tea that you need right here hopefully I've got the emotes so I don't know if I oh yeah I do right there look that's the tea you need Yorkshire <laughs> honey is rank the taste the smell the texture I like it I like honey. Now I don't like so regular plain honey like you buy from the store, right? <laughs> um, re regular honey that you buy from the store, you know, that's in them stupid little bears. That stuff is gross. But I'll tell you right now, New York honey, never tasted nothing like it in my life. It's, it's smooth, it's so good. It doesn't have like a horrible, like weird taste to it or nothing. It's really good. And then when I put the blueberries in it, that just enhanced the flavor. It doesn't have that, that, that. I find that honey has a, um, like an aftertaste, like a really weird, like, ugh, God, it just makes everything taste funny. Um, yeah, so this, so this, this here, uh, honey that we get, which I wish we'd still have our bees, but we don't. Um, it's really, really good. It's like super clear. Um, it's not got that like strange aftertaste to it. Right, so. So you can see, look how much starch is in there. So what we're gonna do, there's a bunch of starch in that potato. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna dr drain this out and then, um, Put some more cold water in it most honey in the shops is actually just sugar Ooh. syrup yeah especially the one in that little bear they have one that they push that here like you know all of the every shop has it with a little bear and they claim it to be this you know this but it's not it's cheap shitty honey we had a we had when we had our bees um the guy that used to help laura with the bees he would give her pots of honey all the time 
this one i don't even know if it's still i don't know if it's still in here might be in here i used a little bit of it last night we used to get we get honey like this ah, my elbow so we get we get jars of honey like this this we've had this one a while but it doesn't have a weird like you know the honey smell the typical honey smell it doesn't have any cane it's not sour it's like it's not it's it's so good it's so so good and the bees were right in the garden so that's even better the bees were right in the back garden so that's that's uh I know what else I was going to put in that steak. I was going to put a bit of red wine in there. That's what I was going to put in there. A little red wine. Super shell steak. Yes, it is. Yeah, it doesn't have like a, doesn't have like a extreme sort of like sour smell. Like regular honey has just a, oh, got an awful, like, almost like, like, ugh, I don't know. As honey is naturally antibiotic. Yep. Yep. Well, Laura, Laura drinks it. She puts it in her tea at night. She, she, or, uh, she doesn't. She, she drinks her cat, and I can't do that either. She drinks like chamomile tea. Any of that tea with the flowers and stuff, forget about it. I'm just a Yorkshire tea kind of guy, me. I can't do any other kind of tea. Like I could do black tea, but like any of the stuff with the flowers and the fruit fruit stuff in it, you can keep it. Ugh, no, thank you. No, thank you. I don't need that. I am not a frou-frou tea kind of guy, me. It's either... Oh, yes. Yeah, see, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> ah, I'm... <laughs> Beer fan, I'm with you, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Herbal tea, never used, no, can't do it. Yes, Dave! <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do it. How you doing, Red? Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, ooh, can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. Any of them, Laura, Laura's got like, she, look what she's got up here, look. She's got a right bunch of knackers up here. I've got drawers full of the stuff. We got uh, Egyptian licorice. She's got chamomile. She's got raspberry, orange. There's all sorts of stuff up here. English breakfast tea. We already got Yorkshire. What do you need English breakfast tea for? Come on, sort it out. Can't, no, can't do it. Can't do it, Dave. I cannot, the, the smell alone puts me off. It smells like flowers. <laughs> like Fairfan said, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just go lay, lay down in the grass. <laughs> hey, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Fancy a cuppa. Oh, I just saw it. Good earth tea. Oh, it's gotta be Yorkshire, innit? For me. Who does PG tips? PG tips and Thai food, wow. That's two randoms. PG tips, I used to like PG tips. Can't stand the look of green tea, but people drink it. So, <laughs> what is weird, I actually don't mind green tea, but it has to be ice cold. I cannot drink, I cannot drink green tea hot. If it's ice cold, I'll drink it all day long. It's really good with a squeeze of lemon in it. Like the red ginger tea now. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it, Barb, sorry. <laughs> Can't do it. Cold tea. Yeah, but hot. <laughs> it's it's iced tea. If you've never tried it, I'm gonna tell you right now, Milford, if you've never tried it, you don't know what it's it's sweet. If you've never tried, I'm not talking about cold tea with milk. <clears throat> Do I drink lemon and ginger tea? No. No. I've, now, if I make a iced tea, if I make a jug of iced tea, it looks like that color. I'll put some lemon in it. Straight. You've never tried it. 
You can keep your straight red knackers. If you've never tried iced tea, you don't know what you're talking about. Iced tea is freaking good. Like straight up, you can literally take your PG tips or your Thai food tea or your Yorkshire tea, put it in there. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some and show you how to do it, right? Honest to God, you try it, you'll love it. I, the first, very first time I went to a restaurant with my brother-in-law, and you probably, I probably told this story 10 times. I go to this restaurant, right? We go out, the, we go out for breakfast. And the lady says, what would you like to drink? And I said, well, I like tea. And she goes, we have Lipton's tea. You know what Lipton's tea is? It's that. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. Lipton's tea is like pee. It is not, it, I said, no, hell no. I don't want Lipton's tea, thank you. Nope, give me iced tea. I've never tried it, give me iced tea. Right, so. I ordered this iced tea, the lady, oh, you know, here I am, I'm sitting at the table. Take a sip, put my, put it down, right? Put it down here, right? Put it down there like this, right? So there's that much gone out of the cup, right? I put it down, I start to talk to my brother-in-law. The lady comes over, fills it right back to the top, right? Fills it brimful. So I take another sip. So I get down to that much. Out of nowhere, I'm talking like out of nowhere, she comes over and goes, starts filling up again. I'm like, damn. So here I am sitting here drinking it because, you know, she just walked from wherever she walked from because I didn't see where she was at. Like mysteriously just floated above the table and was like, Phew. I drank 13 glasses of iced tea that day because this lady wouldn't, she she kept coming back over to the table. <clears throat> so she finally came over to the table after I caught her out of the corner of my eye. I said, don't put any more in there. Please do not put any more tea in there. She's like, well, I thought you were thirsty because you kept drinking it. I said, you just come clear across the restaurant to put a little bit of tea in there. I'm not gonna let you waste it. You know, that's a waste of time. Anyway, she's like, oh no, you didn't have to drink it. You could have just left it. I'm like, well, that's a waste, but yeah. 13 glasses of iced tea I drank. Horrendous. <laughs> Not good. But the iced tea is really good. They have a they have different, they have peach iced tea, they have they have uh, lemon, straight, like there's lots and lots and lots of different different flavours of iced tea, and it's good. And you're right, Dave, Lipton's ice Lipton's makes a tea. Lipton's cold tea, like for iced tea, is really good. But the regular one like to drink it hot, oh my God, Horrend horrendously bad. All right, so, um, we've got to start with, I've got to figure out what container I'm gonna do this in first. Because all of my, I should have done it in the one I've got the steak in, but, it's all of my glass containers. Reminds me of when I was on a flight to Australia where the man kept stopping with my orange juice even though I fall asleep and wake up and there's the orange juice in front of me. Yeah. Yep. Is that where you had your kangaroo? In Australia. This is way too big. Good Lord, that container is way too big. I can't use that. I gotta figure this out now. That container is massive. I can't use that. Milford voted Thai food. Thai food tea. Probably did. Probably did. Milford, did you vote Thai food? Did you vote? Did you vote Thai food tea, Milford? Let's see, it's not there. It's not there. Maybe it's down here. I went for Yorkshire, a bit like Virgin Trains. Late one evening, it was so stupidly quiet. A trainer woman kept giving me coffee and muffins. She was nearly planted up in my face when the train rocked down the corner. Bit of orange juice, yes or no? Bits in orange. Oh yes. Oh yes. 
oi oi mate, put some shrimps on the barbie. I like pulp in my orange juice, yes. Milford, you don't. You don't like you don't like red peppers that have a little piece of stuff on, so you're not gonna eat pulp in your orange juice. Drink pulp in your orange juice. You're a fussy bugger. Containers, but anyway, watch watch Milk would say, I can't have that, I can't drink orange juice like that. You watch bits, he calls it. <laughs> bits, ah, <laughs> oh, what's she done with my bloody pen? Probably gave it away, gave it to somebody. I don't mind either way, so long as it's not thick, you have to chew it. Yeah, I normally, orange juice, I wanna drink it, not eat it. Yeah, see, told ya. How you doing, Krem? Told ya, I knew he would. I have to wash this pan out. Milford's like, oh no, no, I can't have that. No, I like the pulp. I like the pulp, me. In the UK, we actually call it with bits. Really? Did I say your name? No. No, I didn't. Say my name, say my name. No, I didn't. Um, that's what it's called, with bits. That's kind of wild. So they just call it pulp over here. <laughs> Orange juice with pulp. Because that's basically what it is. All right, so I gotta clean this pan real quick. Because I don't know what the hell Laura's done with my other one, but that's all right. This will just give us something else to, to munch on. This will give us something else to munch on. So Krem did the, uh, uh, the trailer went to the the trailer went to the um, to get the wrap on right. Is that is that what I I read today? So that's their food truck. How much more you got to do to the food truck? You're you're pretty close, aren't you? You're pretty close to being ready to rock and roll, I think. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. Yorkshire wins, I knew it would. Who put Thai food tea? I need to know, because I... Orange juice with bits. That's wild, isn't it? I'm one of your five a day, tropical with juicy bits. <laughs> with juicy bits. <laughs> with juicy bits. <laughs> So the second one has juicy bits in it. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. We do. <laughs> yeah, we all love a bit of juicy bits. All right. So for the treacle, for the treacle <coughs> sponge cake. The treacle sponge cake. I gotta get a lemon. <clears throat> so, first things first, we do golden syrup. We have about a week more work and then we can get it back. Oh, okay. And then are you ready to, are you ready to on the road? Like you, you're ready to go? Are you, now are you working, are you gonna go different places or are you gonna go to like a certain, a certain spot? Like, you know, are you gonna stick to like one, one place? Or are you going to travel around a bit? Or are you going to try one place and then try another place? Or, or is it typically like one location? All right. So we're all going to get our juicy bits out. <laughs> okay. So. Golden syrup. 
Our goal is to cater as much as we can, but we're, oh, okay. Right, now this is the weird, this is a weird. I thought when I read this, I was like, that's gotta be a mistake, but it's not. Panko. Panko, right there. Um, I've been cooking, I've been in the industry. <laughs> I've been in the, in the, let's say, food and drink industry uh, for 30 years. I started out working on an Air Force base when I was 16. Uh, got my apprenticeship. And then I've worked in restaurants and everything else all the way up and I've ran my own business. I've uh, worked in a hospital kitchen for seven years. Um, I ran a golf course kitchen. Um, I used to cater weddings and I've, I've, trust me, any, anything you could think of, I've probably done it. <laughs> Too long, don't start him off explaining it. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry, Dave, if I'd have saw that, I wouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> yeah, long time extremely long time okay and then lemon zest and lemon juice in there <clears throat> I want my money back we're not going to use the whole <clears throat> all the zest finally graduated college there you go nice it's a very it's it's very rewarding but it's also a hell of a lot of work. But I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not going to use that. Change my mind. <clears throat> yeah, I started out. I started out. Oh dear. Like, like Dave said a long time ago. I've only ever had one job outside of... Okay, Dave, I've only had one job outside of the food industry. And it didn't last very long because I got bored with it and I was like, I'm going back to it. This is not working. <laughs> so it was just when we moved, we moved around a lot because my wife, my wife was in the Air Force. So we moved around a lot. And so I, I was the one that was taking the jobs, any job that came up. I had to do it twice, first time was after the Navy, I had to drop out for months prior to starting my externship. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, you know, military military family, you know, you move. My wife retired from the Air Force. She was in the Air Force for 26 years. And so then we moved up to New York. Uh, we've been here for five years and now we're trying to sell this place so that we can move again. Um, and when we move again, I'm gonna start a food truck. I'm buying a food truck. Right, so the zest. I'm in, oh, okay. Yeah, we're in, uh, we're just the other side of Syracuse. All right, there we go. Perfect, plenty. I didn't even know that had I didn't even know that this had lemon juice in it, or or um, lemon zest. I had no idea that either one of them was in this. So uh, I just have my zester. I gotta say, my my most rewarding job. Just finished up the truck for the day. I'm gonna go shower. Okay. Um, I'd say my most rewarding job obviously was working in the hospital, but my favorite job out of everything was working at the golf course. Running the golf course kitchen, doing all the tournaments and stuff, that was a lot of fun. Made some fat money on some tips because all those rich old boys, <laughs> all those rich blokes coming around with their money. Originally, um, I was born in England, left England when I was 20, came over here been over here ever since we moved around with her career and uh, I love it I absolutely love it I have no desire it's been 10 years since I've been home 
and we're gonna tr we're trying to plan a trip this summer, but uh, I, I don't I don't want to say I don't miss it, but there's things about it that I don't miss. If I left here permanently, which is never gonna happen now, I got my citizenship. I got my citizenship over here um, uh, in 2016. 2016, I think it was, I got my citizenship. Um, and then uh, been over here ever since. So, oh, kicked out, yeah. I'm planning on opening a food truck as well, just waiting on the red tape to be cleared up. With the cannabis, we'll be doing infused food, nice. That's a, that's a big thing. Uh, well, everywhere. Big thing everywhere. It's a huge, there's huge um, advocates for that in Ohio where we're going. Huge. Um. <clears throat> Go on the syrup. Okay, so one cup of butter, one cup of sugar, five tablespoons of milk, one cup of flour, which we're going to double it because I just made a bigger... I made a bigger uh, thing, so. So how much butter is in this? Let's see, four sticks of butter. So we've got to do one cup, right? So we're gonna double it. So, mm. or London if you don't like to get stabbed. You all like England again, just stay clear of Newcastle and Leeds. I, it's, you know, I mean, I, I, of course, I fly into London, but then typically my, my brothers pick me up and then we don't really go anywhere near London after that, really. We just stay around my parents' house. I'm going to double this recipe. Right, so we need, I'm gonna get the, the, uh, well, my dad was, my dad was born in London, raised in London, um, and then he moved out, he moved out, met my mom, and they, they, they would go back every once in a while, not too often, but uh, he, he had a, when he lived in London, he was a, yeah, uh, he was an Arsenal season ticket holder. Go on, there you go. Ah, oh, funny. Yeah, he was an Arsenal season ticket holder. And he would go to all the games. And every time that me and him were going to go to a game, he would get sick. I'm like, you just don't want to go with me. <laughs> and then, of course, he died of cancer, so... But that's where my that's where my my thing for Arsenal comes from from my dad. My uh, none of my other brothers and sisters follow follow football at all. They don't like it at all. So My mum will text me, she'll, she'll text me when Arsenal's lost and she's like, how you doing, you all right? <laughs> like, yeah. All right, so this is a, this is a lot of butter and stuff that we're putting in here, but this is a big cake that we're making, so. hoping that this is going to be this machine is able to hit the you know like mash this up a bit because this butter is still cold I should have pulled it out that's my bad but I had the guy out here to mess with the furnace this morning so 
I was a bit worried about that. I'm trying to sell the house and the furnace quit working. I was like, oh my God, come on. <laughs> ah. Right, so butter and sugar, obviously that's a typical, that's a typical cake recipe. Oh, I've got just enough. Oh, that's lucky. And then we're gonna do six eggs in here as well, in a minute. Let's see if I can do this without making too much mess. Thing was like, I thought I was gonna jump off the table. Oh my god, I just I just pinched an egg and cracked it in half in my hands. What a dummy. Right after I cleaned the kitchen floor too. Ah so way there, Bessie, come on now. Hold your horses. It's like it's about to slide off the table. Behave yourself. All right. So two cups of butter, sorry, yeah, two cups of butter. Uh, we're gonna do two cups of sugar, no, one cup of sugar, two cups of flour, six eggs. What's your favorite place to visit? Not where you live, what's your favorite place to visit? In England. Like if you wanted to go out on a day, like a day out, where would you go? Milford's gonna say Margate. <laughs> Down to Margate. Skegness. Hunstanton, that was a big one where, where we were at, Hunstanton. Everybody went to Hunstanton. What a crappy place that was. How you doing, George? Right. Blackpool, although the football is rubbish there. <laughs> Used to like Scotland when I was younger. Oh. So, then we've got to put a little bit of water in there, five tablespoons it says, but back. Hey, welcome in. I've been to Portsmouth and London, both okay, was there for the dry weekend, the locals didn't take going to American sailors drunk in England, talking shit on the 4th of July, there you go. Barbados. <laughs> so when Laura was when Laura was over there, um, 
when she was over there, they were, my my dad had family in in uh, Portsmouth, and um, I got a funny story about Portsmouth actually. Um, another one. My dad was my dad's family lived in Portsmouth, and uh, we would go and visit them when we were like way younger, like. Uh, about like 10 years old maybe story time yeah <laughs> and uh so they had a they had a, a, a sh the mary rose the ship the mary rose that was like one of the royal ships back in the day um they had a replica of it right there um and uh <clears throat> We, you know, we went and everything. We got like a little piece of the wood that was off the ship and all this, how they had the planks, you know, you could do all that. Anyway, so we got that. We thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. Really cool, you know, whatever. Fast forward, we're owning the bed and breakfast here, right? We own the bed and breakfast here. And two of our last guests that stayed here said to me, they said to me, have you ever been to Portsmouth in England? And I was like, um... Yeah, my father had family members that were from there. And uh, she goes, oh, she said, we went on this trip. And she pulls out the exact same piece of wood off of the boat that I had when I was 10 years old. She pulls this out. She goes, we just got back three weeks ago. Look. And so she showed me the exact piece of wood. I, I did have. I'm selling it. Um, I'm selling it. But yeah, so... She had the exact same thing as what I had in a little plastic case, which was crazy. She had the exact same thing, but how many years later, which is wild. Yeah, no, we, 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 we have, but we're in the process of selling it. We've had it for, we've had it for, oh, uh, We've had it for six years. Ooh, ah. I can't get this bloody thing off. Yeah, we've had it for six years. We ran it for six years. It's a lot of fun, but I want to go back to where my grandkids are. I miss my grandbabies. See, now I'm showing my age. <laughs> yes, I'm old. It's a mansion. <laughs> Not a bloody mansion. <laughs> we'll have to get out of here. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, it has a library. Yes, it does. Oh my God, Milford. <laughs> you crack me up. All right. Trust me, trust me, this, uh, this mansion, as you call it, costs a shit ton of money to run it. I'll be glad when I don't have to, uh, I'll be glad I don't, when I don't have to pay for, when I don't have to pay for the, uh, oil bill for that. It's a haunted bed and breakfast. No, it's not haunted. Well, it might be. It was built in 1806, so it might be, but I've not seen anything yet, so. All right. Lead pipe, Professor <laughs> Henry, you're not helping. It's uh, four floors, Milford. So it's got so it's got an attic that's finished. So when we, before we purchased the house, um, when, before we purchased the house, the, the lady that had the house before us raised 10 kids here. And so there's a finished attic, there's a, a basement, a stone basement, uh, and then of course the two floors with all the rooms on. So technically four, but you're not going to count the basement as a as a floor because there's nothing there. It's just a stone basement with storage. 
Only spooky thing is that B&B is Rob Dresser's lunch lady. Man. Four floors, nine bathrooms, two lakes, and it's not a mansion. It's not. It's a, it's a, it's a house. It's a large house. Give over. All right. So. Right. So this is the treacle sponge cake, or will be. Lunch lady food truck. No, I don't think so. I want to get customers, not run them off. Yeah, I want to keep customers, not run them off. All right, put that in the oven. over here now because we're done with that monstrosity oh excuse me we will get you dressed as a lunch lady woman on that truck I guarantee you won't I guarantee you you won't I will 99.9999999999% guarantee you I will not be dressed as a lunch lady on that food truck. <laughs> you keep, yeah, I will. <laughs> Joy said that about the last stream. It's for charity, wasn't it? You've got to do what you got to do. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so the sauce for this sandwich. <laughs> Dave, don't help him. He doesn't need any help, Dave. <laughs> he causes enough shit on his own. <laughs> So we're going to do Dijon mustard, which we're going to use the the coarse coarse grain because I feel like it just adds a little bit adds a little bit. So this is the Grey Poupon Country Dijon. The <clears throat> Grey Poupon. A little. Mayonnaise. If your mod team don't hang up on the streamer. Right, right. Oh no, 100% agree. But he doesn't need any help. <laughs> he does quite enough on his own. He's relentless. <laughs> When is Guy coming back? I gotta do um I gotta do Gordon Ramsay first. I gotta do a Gordon Ramsay one first. I got my chef coat and I got my wig. I just need to style the hair a bit. The hair's a bit <laughs> the hair's a bit <laughs> it's all over the show. <laughs> so I gotta I gotta do a guy I gotta do a guy fieri and I gotta do a Gordon Ramsay. But I need a good reason to do it. <laughs> I 
in no, in no particular order. Gordon Ramsay guy, Gino. I don't know if I can pull off Gino Campari, uh, 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 De Campo. I'm not sure if I can pull him off because he's, uh, I don't know. That one might be a hard one to do. <clears throat> You'd make a good Mrs. Doubtfire. Get out of here. Flamboyant. Not even that, I don't think. It's not that. that It's um, like his accent's hard to do because he, he like enhances it so much. You know, I bet when he's talking to his kids or when he's at home, he's not like, he's not like that at all. I bet he's not like that at all. I bet he just talks in a normal, normal accent. This looks like it just went to the yard and pulled it out of the grass, doesn't it? See, you guys are drinking your tea. I'm out there picking this off the grass. Can't see the grass again right now because there's snow everywhere. <clears throat> All right. We are then going to grill this as well. It, oh, yes. Everything cleared up. I had no snow whatsoever. Everything cleared up and then for about 10 minutes this afternoon it snowed and everything's now covered again. So, uh, yeah, that's my, that's my fun. That's my fun. All right, so now we're gonna drain the potato chips and we're gonna cook some potato chips. So. Yeah, if you want to see four seasons in one day, come come visit here. You'll see four seasons in one day, no problem here. Not even joking. They have all four seasons in one. They have all four seasons in one thing. Now he's done a serious food, Italian food show, and his accent is fairly strong, but nowhere near as much as he puts on TV. Right, right. So yeah, you know, I don't think I could, I don't think I could copy that. And imagine trying to copy that for the whole stream. That would be brutal. All right, so this is the potato chips. Nice and clear now, so all the starch is gone, see? So we're just gonna drain them off. Leave that sit like that. Uh, it's amazing how much better you feel after a shower. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ah. Yeah, we had a guy out fix the furnace this morning. Not the furnace. It wasn't the it, the furnace wasn't broken. It was just misfiring and it needed clean. So the guy came out to clean the furnace. I was running up and downstairs. I was running up and downstairs more than he was. <laughs> but it's fixed now, so. So anybody that buys my house gets a brand new cleaned, brand spanking new cleaned furnace. I always, I was always deep frying them in olive oil. Olive oil, so olive oil doesn't, you can't really cook olive oil too hot. Um, if you put olive oil too hot, it's gonna be like a real, real, uh, almost like a burnt flavor. So I use vegetable oil. Right, so here's our steaks that we've had marinating. So the steak has been marinating in thyme, red wine, garlic, black pepper, olive oil. Um, so this is what's going to go on our sandwich. Um, we're going to cook all of this like this. Yeah, it does. Yeah.
unless you, unless you keep turning the stove on and off. <laughs> Turn the stove on and off, you'd be all right. But I imagine it'd take a long time to make your chips then. Uh, quite outside the... What? Quiet outside the norm. What? Oh, that's not me. Someone text me. Someone text me something. Like, what the hell? That doesn't. I think you text the wrong person there, my friend. I don't think you're meant to text that to me. All right, then we're going to leave the. We're going to leave the tomatoes whole, and we're going to blister, blister them. Blister those a little bit. We'll cook those in olive oil. I'm going to do the red onions too. I was going to leave the red onions raw, but raw red onions can be a little bit overpowering. So uh, I love olive oil. It's so good. Oh yeah, it's great. I, I I cook with it all the time. I've just never fried like like chips or you know. Th like never, never put like a lot in a pan and cooked with it like that. Like not like, uh, you know, like you would vegetable oil. Thank you, Milford. Thank you very much. I love raw red onions. Yeah, I like them, but I, I like, I'm gonna do a little bit of each. Milford, get out of here. Thank you, mate. What uh, what food options do you want? What food fight options do you want? Very kind of you. So Holland has got a three month sub, and then Navy is his first month. So. Okay, so Holland, risotto with a dessert, corned beef and cabbage, or Irish stew and soda bread. Pick one of those, and same with you, Navy. Whichever one, whichever one you want, uh, just tell me which one you want, and that's gonna go on our food fight. What we do for the food fight is, whichever one wins at the end of the month, that's the one we make. And from now on, now that we've got our new website up and running, the the food fight winner every month we're going to put the recipe up and we're going to put a picture up on the new website chefrobcreations.com if you've not checked it out yet my daughter actually built that website for me and saved me about huh, saved me saved me thousands actually saved me thousands <laughs> Yeah, so if you let me know which one you want. Um, I looked for your YouTube the other day and couldn't find it. I made the other two. I'd like to see the Irish stew and soda bread. All right, Irish stew and soda bread. Um, hold on, Milford, I'll get it for you. Uh, Irish stew. Okay. I'll get it for you. It's just the VODs. That's all it is. But it's still, it's still something that, it's still something that you know people can follow and keep an eye on and see what we're doing. And um, eventually, we're going to add some more stuff to that. But you need a Twitch command for it. I thought I had one, but I guess I don't. I thought I had one. Why did I mute that? Paste. There it is. Try that, Milford. See if that works. It's literally just that I just started it. I've got one subscriber on there, so if you want to go over there and subscribe, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I've got a VODs channel and I've got a regular channel, but the VODs channel is the only one I've put anything on right now. 
because eventually I'm going to turn the VODs off on here. Um, I'm going to turn the VODs off on here and just put them over there. Check again. I just saw it just popped up and said. Thank you, James. All right, so that's good there. I'm going to put a few of these. I'm not going to put them all in. Uh, Navy talked me out of it, so I'm going to put some of them in. I'm going to have some fresh ones and some some fresh ones and some cooked ones. Yeah, right now that's just all the VODs. Eventually, um, eventually, of course, I'll put a lot more stuff up there. But, uh, what I'm gonna do too is if, if people are, if people are following and subscribing to that, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna do like giveaways where it's gonna be, you know, certain things on the YouTube so that way I get more followers, you know, Make sure people go over there and subscribe to that. That way I can do it. But if I do a giveaway, say I get 10 followers on, 10 followers or 10 subscribers on YouTube, I'll do a giveaway, something like that. Like eventually. That way we'll get some more people involved in it. All right, so this, see it's still, still draining water out. There's a ton of water in these. Some of these are a little thick, but that's all right. Thick. Thick. Right, let's have a look and see what. Ah, uh, what can I use for a chip rub out of the rubs? What can I use? Thank you, Navy. So Navy, this, I don't know if you've seen these before, I don't know if you've heard of this company. Grill your ass off. It's a veteran owned company out of Texas. This is meant to be a, like an MRE. And they have, this is a sample pack. And they have all these different samples of different flavors and stuff you can try. They have a ton of stuff. They also have a code on there if, if you're interested in trying any of this stuff. They've got some really, really nice, really, really nice products on there. All right, so I'm gonna do, Cajun, I'm going to do Claymore Cajun. Claymore Cajun. So this guy here, see their little character, their little donkey, their little ass. <laughs> He's holding a Claymore. They have stickers, shirts, they have all sorts of stuff, but they're a, they're a company out of Texas. The guy was in the army. Really good, really nice guy too. I did a charity stream and they gave me five of those sample packs to give away. So, yeah, it's called grillyourassoff.com. <laughs> Unusual, but. All right. Obviously, I don't want to make like piles and piles and piles of them. Otherwise they won't cook. I want, to, I want them to evenly cook. So we're gonna take our time. I got it saved. I see a lot of good looking products on that page. I'll be ordering some. If you wanna, if you want to, um, hello Sarah. If you want to, uh, I have a code as well. Um, I have a code on there, you can save 15%. Um, I don't remember what the code is now. Let me see, I'll tell you what it is in a second. Grill, exclamation mark grill. Yeah, if you use, uh, if you use she, uh, Chef Rob Creations at checkout, you get 15% off. Well worth it. This thing here, 
There are seven different seasonings in this. This is well worth it. Sarah, I tried to Skype mum this morning and then I realised that you guys were on the plane. <laughs> Alright, then I'm going to take a bowl. Oh, shit. Mum said hello. We have you on the big screen. Alright. I just gotta go find some paper towels real quick. I'll leave these frying like this. Go look for the paper towels. That's the one I'm gonna order. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, if you, like I said, if you're interested, there's a code there, so save you some money. All right, let me see if I can find these paper towels. Oh. I don't know what she done with the paper towels now. We had that we had that viewing yesterday. Oh dear. I can't remember what she done with them. I'll use napkins, screw it. I use napkins. We had a showing after I got done streaming yesterday. <laughs> I'll just use some napkins. It's quicker and easier, they're right here. Mum said you're grounded. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. All right. We made a we made a treacle sponge, Sarah. A treacle sponge cake. I got some uh, lion's golden syrup. What advice do I give? Don't buy too much stuff too quick. Um, don't don't buy don't buy too much stuff too quick. Like don't buy like you know a shitload of cameras, a shitload of stuff. Like don't buy a streaming computer. You don't need you don't need like a crazy high tech computer. Um, you could do it on a laptop. Many many people do. Um, you don't need all the bells and whistles. Just your, your Logitech 920s cameras will be fine. I have one here, I have one there on a post, and then I have one on a monitor here. I'm, I've been doing this for three years now, so I've built up as I've gone along. But uh, yeah, because honestly, you, you, might, you might get all the stuff and you might absolutely hate it. There's people that I know that have, there's people that I know that have everything that you need to stream streamed one time because they're scared to death of it. Um, absolutely scared to death of it. So, like, just don't, you know, I mean, like, you can get help with, like, your overlays and all that kind of stuff. But, like, as far as, like, buying all the stuff, all the bells and whistles, it's not necessary for straight away. You can literally do it with a laptop. Oh, yeah, exactly, James, that's it. Trust me, I was there. I got all my stuff on an Amazon sale and I should have waited. When I initially started, when I initially started, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go all in here. I'm gonna be the, you know, I'm gonna be the, the, the whatever. I've, do, I've done it for three years. Now, I had a full-time job for almost a year of it. Um, I had a full-time job for almost a year of it and I had to cut my streams from five days a week to two days a week. That hurt me a hell of a lot. Um, build up a schedule. It's so much work. It is. Um, so what I do is I do a lot of my, so when I get up in the morning, I'm on the computer setting up for the rest of my day. So like I'll go on there, I'll tweet out, I'll, I'll time my, like I tweet when I go live, but I do timers. So everything's done in the morning. Then I can just leave it alone and walk away from it. Um, and then tonight, 
like if I if I get too busy tonight after cleaning up the house or whatever, I won't post my pictures until tomorrow. But uh, I'm on all the social medias. I've got my own Facebook page. I'm on all that stuff. I mean, we we can chat too. You can you can message me and we can we can talk about it. It's fun though. It's fun. I've raised nearly seventeen thousand dollars for charities, um, from cancer research to uh, Autism America, Stop Soldier Suicide. Um, I'm 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 this close to seventeen thousand dollars. So once you initially get like your stuff set up, like once you initially get your whole, you know, like your look, once you get once you get like what you want and where you've got it, no. Initially setting everything up and make sure your microphone, that's the one thing. Over anything else, make sure your audio's spot on. Because sometimes audio can be a, a, a killer. If your audio screwed up and no one can understand you, or no one can hear you, they're going to leave. It's probably why half the time my, my, no one's in here because they can't understand me. <laughs> well, what kind of accent is this, this guy got? Holy shit. But no, and you definitely, like, like they said, you definitely got to be passionate about it. You can't, you can't think to yourself, well, I've got one person watching me. Because um, that, be, that will kill you. That will kill you like that. That will kill you just like that. Um, another thing, another thing. This sounds, this sounds kind of weird too. Shit. Make a, make a second account. Like say, like a, a burner account, if you like. For the Yankee words, <laughs> you could make a burner account if you like. But always, or make your girlfriend, or your wife, or your sister, or your mother, or your brother, whatever it is. Make an account and make sure that that account is always live. When you're live. Make sure that account is always in your channel. That way you'll always have one person. You'll always have one person watching you. That's how I started. I would I would go live with a, with a second account. I would have my account here and then I'd put somebody, you know, I made my wife account. My wife was not interested in this in the slightest. I made her an account. I, put, I bought her a sub. I had one sub. As soon as I hit affiliate, I had one sub and it was my wife. And then I got my family involved in it. My brother's like, I have Twitch Prime, but I'm not going to go log on there every day. If you want to do it every month, you can do it. I have his email. I go on, log on his email. I go and log on his email and I subscribe to my own channel using his Prime. So, yeah, she loves it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. She's, she's part of it now. There's, I told us that there's no getting out of it now. You're part of it. You can't be coming in. Oh no, it's not my world, it's your world. Yeah, bullshit. We're gonna get her doing her painting here sometime soon too. We're gonna try to get her doing some painting online. I did that to make affiliate, my wife, my daughter, my burner. Yeah, there you go. Depending on what you stream, people find chess boring, but video games more interesting. Yeah, and I mean, if you're, you know, if you're strictly a hundred percent cooking streamer, stick to that. Like I, when I first started, I was gaming and cooking and I sucked at gaming. So, and I didn't have anybody watching. And I was like, you know what? Half of these people right now, half of these people actually came in here when I was gaming. I have a, I have a guy that, that has been subscribed to me since I started and he has been, he's the first one that was in my channel and he's still subscribed to me to this day. It's like 43, 44 months, something like that. Still comes in now. Not as much as he used to because he got a new job, but he's, he's here all the time and he subs. But it can be a royal pain in the butt. You know, sometimes that's another thing too. Big Dave, how you doing Chris? Big Dave will tell you, don't go live. If you're in a shitty mood, don't go live because it's going to make your it's going to make your stream just like drag on and just be like, ah, it's terrible. How are you, Chris? So it's all it's all personal preference, you know. It's all whatever you feel like doing. But once you get your yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'm making steak sandwich tonight. Got some steak marinating in there. Some red wine, garlic, thyme, pe black pepper, olive oil. We've got some 
crusty ciabatta bread. We're making some crisps. We got a, uh, a granny's favorite, um, a treacle, um, a treacle sponge cake. Any more names? Yeah, Chef Rob Gaming. US Arsenal, Chef Rob Gaming. Um, yeah, if you don't, yeah. Chris was another one of the, Chris is actually one of the reasons, OO Clan OO is one of the reasons why I started this mess. It's his fault. It's his fault. They kept telling me you should do it and try it and see if you like it. I love it. I wanted to do games, but an average gamer, I did a couple of cooking streams and my views were much more. So I understand people would rather watch cooking than my gaming. But I said earlier, I send so much time to get it perfect. It takes the fun out of it. Yeah, and I understand that. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. I've had many late night many late night discussions about it. Like, what the hell am I doing this for? You know, there's been times, and even people, even people, you know, even people that are, even people that have been doing this a long time, will tell you every once in a while. You know, today's a shitty day. The numbers aren't right. It just doesn't feel right. It's not perfect, like you said. There's, there's always. There's always going to be 514. How are you, my friend? There's always going to be something, but if you if you love what you're doing, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I do. I love it. I I absolutely love it. Trust me. Since I ain't been working, this has been the only thing that's been keeping me from going batshit crazy. Waiting to try to sell this house. I joined a stream team, uh, a hot, well, so I have a hot sauce company from New Jersey that sponsors me. Um, I joined, they, they've got a stream team, so I joined their stream team, and uh, they, they're, they're fantastic. Really, really nice people. Not all, not all, no cooking streamers, they're all gamers, but they're super supportive. Ooh, you bitch. Too late? What's too late? What's too late? We're doing the we're doing the Cajun. What's it called? Claymore Cajun seasoning on the on the chips tonight. On the potato chips. Claymore Cajun. It's probably going to be spicy as hell, but. To stop. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, Sarah would have to say that, wouldn't she? She hadn't been in there for months. Now all of a sudden, she comes in two months in a row and abuses the hell out of me. What's going on there? Oh, I'm tired from working. All right, so I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna cook this steak on here as soon as these potatoes are done. And then we're gonna plate this bad boy up. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> Love you really. <laughs> actually going to do it like this because knowing my luck I'll cock it up. Someone has to. You do it enough. Bloody hell, you're the, you do it enough. You get your digs in all the time, Milford. <laughs> but like Dave said, if you're, if you're, no idea, <laughs> okay. If you're if you're people that moderate for you, if you're if you're people that help you out on your channel, don't don't have a dig. Then what's the you know, what's the point of it? That's what it's all about, isn't it? That's half the fun of it. That's why when you give when you give somebody a mod, when you give somebody mod in your channel, you're like, God, I wonder how much I wonder how much I'm going to take. I wonder how much abuse I'm going to take from this. <laughs> why it took me so long to make you a mod. 
<laughs> Got any grapes? That sound alert. Which one? Got any grapes? Yeah, look. look at this look at this bloody emote that showed up in my better in my uh look at this look at that <laughs> i have no idea where that came from <laughs> oh dear <laughs> That is hilarious. I don't even know. I swear to God, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> oh my God. I think it's the cheek work. I think it's the cheek wall. Don't show up in chat, but does on your screen. It doesn't show up in there. Oh no. <laughs> Pobo, how are you? Welcome in. First time chatter. So, yeah, no, I don't know what. <laughs> they found it out. I never, honest to God, right? Half the time, I don't even know how to get into those better, better emotes. Half the time, they don't even show up for me, so I don't even hardly bother. I don't know where the hell that one come from. <laughs> Smack that ass. Crack that peach. Oh God. All right, we're almost done. We're not messing about anymore. I'm done playing with this. I've had enough. <laughs> not for me, but does fly across the screen. Oh, right. Does better TV work on mobile? I'm not sure. There's one just for Dave on BT2, a band hammer, yep. Pasteurizing your hydro flask, okay. All right. So we're gonna put some more of this. A little bit more of the Cajun rub on the chips. I like this one. Yeah, that's the wheel. I need to do I need to do the wheel a lot more. I need to bring the wheel back. I do need to bring the wheel back. Holland, which one of those meals do you want? You didn't tell me yet. I need to take off some of the funky stuff though, because some of that stuff was making me sick. Some of that stuff was making me sick. My favorite emote just because many people hate it. <laughs> no, I don't have a hydro flask, no. <clears throat> I eat more things. Well, you got, if you pick one for me though, if you pick one for me, then I'll put, then I'll, so there's the treacle cake. There's that, there's that part of it. Why do you keep saying press F? He says press F, what's that? He says press F, I press F. <laughs> I don't know what press F is. All right, so there's the cake. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Be right back, I'm on the phone at the moment. Okay, hold on. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, right, okay. I'm not one of the in kids, see, I don't know. 
I, I wouldn't have a clue. Press F to pay your respect. Oh, okay. All right, next, so we're gonna fire up the grill. We're gonna do our bread on there first, and then we're gonna do the steak on there, I think, unless I do the steak in a skillet. I could do the steak in a skillet, I suppose, can I? My poor pan's getting destroyed. All right, we'll get the pan hot. Got a oh, <laughs> I see that. I like, got a question. What? All right. It folds. <laughs> red, red wine. Red meat, bean, red meat, and pork free for going on five years. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Wow. So what do you eat? Do you eat do you eat chicken? I hope. Good lord. Red meat, how do you do without steak? I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Fish and poultry. Wow, I don't think I could do that. I don't honestly don't think I could do it. Now I like both. I like fish, I like chicken, but oh my goodness. But I mean, each to their own. If it's for dietary, you know, if, if it's for something that. Wow. Oh, yeah, I like my red meat too much. I couldn't give up my red meat, I don't think. Well, unless I was, unless I was forced to, you know, for some reason. It's not hard after day five. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, what do you eat for breakfast? You can't have no bacon or sausage. What do you have for breakfast? I'd cry if I could never fry up. I grew up on a farm in North Carolina where they slaughtered, processed their own meat till I was 21. And then you just said, that's it, I'm done. Wow. Good, hey, you know what? If that's if that's what you want, good for you, but I don't think I could do it. You know, each each everybody, you know, everybody's got their reasons. I bacon sunny is food of gods. <laughs> I'm a partial to a little bit of bacon, yes. So we're going to just So that's red wine, garlic, pepper, thyme, all sorts of stuff in there. Um, going to do some oil on the bread don't need it turn the oven off brown sauce gotta have HP sauce surely gotta have it hell yes gotta be HP sauce there we go look look <laughs> I, I tell you what I should have shares in this stuff they should give me shares in this stuff I buy it. I, no, I'm not even going to tell you how many times. I'm not going to even tell you how much I buy of that stuff. I'm not even going to tell you. 
Fast food in the military messed me up, had a ton of health issues, the rest of the story is crazy, been told on a heavy mushroom adventure, Cal told me to stop eating red meat, I did 90% of my health issues. Gotcha. Well, like I said, you know, I, I mean, that, that's, there is a ton of fast food in the military. There is a, t there is a ton. Everywhere you turn, there's places of fast food in the military. 100%. Hundred percent. Oh, what an idiot! I turned the burner off. I'm like, why isn't this cooking? I turned the burner off. Yeah, crazy price, but no other cheaper brand cuts out. Yeah. Well, so where I'm at, I'm I'm limited. I'm I'm in New York, so I'm extremely limited. Uh, so I have to just buy what I can get. I'm gonna get out these crazy plates. I'm gonna get out these crazy plates that Laura doesn't like. The scratchy ones. I was telling her what you said, Milford. That would get on my tits. <laughs> she, like, she was laughing. <laughs> she was rolling. Yeah, there. You can get massive bottles in Costco's of HP. Yeah, you can over there. You can't here. I have to get mine on Amazon and it sucked. They charge you an arm and a leg. All right, this isn't, this isn't cooked all the way yet, so I'm gonna take some of this juice out of here. The red wine's kind of making it. Put a lot of red wine in there. Up there with waterboarding, the sound of them plates. <laughs> 13 plus years of junk food and the gut busting food trucks on base didn't do me any favors. Yeah. <laughs> That's ASMR, look. Watch. ASMR, ready? <laughs> My money don't jiggle, jiggle, it folds. I need to turn, I need to get this like super hot just to give it a little. <laughs> Rick rolled. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow is, tomorrow is curry night. Curry club Wednesday, back tomorrow. We're making chicken tikka. Chicken tikka tomorrow night, garlic naan, uh, a little bit of rice. So if you're interested in your Indian food, we're gonna be making some tomorrow. Chicken tikka. Lovely job. Ooh. So, yeah, I haven't made chicken tikka in a long time. I've done, I've done chicken tikka masala, but this is just going to be the skewers. Um, so, what is that? Is that a fish? <laughs> croissant. <laughs> a croissant. I thought it was a fish. All right. All right, we are, the lady just walked in the door, so that's perfect timing. She's probably starving. Yeah, good, we're just done. So, a steak trencher, which is a steak sandwich from medieval times, where they used a <laughs> where they use bread as the vessel to carry the meat. The vessel? That's what it says on the thing. Anyway, 
And then look. What is that? Treacle. Treacle uh, sponge cake. Treacle sponge cake? Yes. Bloody hell. With, with Cajun potato chips. Alright, so our potato chips. Your fans are all talking to you. Femme Delish just said hello to you. He said hello. Well, we all come over for treacle. You can, there's enough of it. <laughs> How about dessert from last night? Yeah, come over and help me eat all this dessert. Yeah, right. You put. I ate three pieces of pie last night. I was telling Milford. And three. I said. I said, Milford, you know, I said to Laura, I said to Milford, Laura said, I'm not sure I'm going to like this. And uh, she goes, I come in here and she's at the, at the thing. Hey, oh my gosh. Hi, Dara. She's at the, Hi, my sister. she's over there. I said, she's over there. She's with a fork and she's like attacking the thing. He goes, she loves it. <laughs> extras is the theme in here. <laughs> Lots of extras. Oh yeah, yeah, there was all kind of creme de leche and you can taste it. I Also, I made the blueberry pancakes over the weekend and put a little bit of... You really only need a little bit of creme de leche. You don't need to put like two tablespoons. You can literally one teaspoon and a, you know, enough batter for creme de leche pancakes. That's all you need. Maybe even a half a teaspoon, but... Oh. I don't know if I can hear you. All right. Wow, look at that. Garlic? Hell yeah. Yes. Alright, a little bit of garlic on there because Laura likes to eat fresh garlic. Baby arugula, if you don't mind. <laughs> Try not to burn my fingers on this. So I kind of kept it rawish. You can just tell that beef is going to be tasty. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> That's our vessel. Krem, she can't get enough of it. She loves the stuff. I like it, but I like it in cooking. Like I use it for cooking. Laura uses it for, she'll drink it, eat it, you know. <laughs> All right, so I didn't do the ice cream. I didn't do, I didn't do the I didn't do the custard so I'm just going to do a quick plate with the ice cream and show you what it's going to be like <clears throat> I was going to and then I thought you know what I got enough here already so I'll be having tomato sauce instead of to nah, not on steak I might sneak some brown sauce on there later <laughs> all right let's see See if I did all right with this. See if I got all right with this. Oh yes. It's like a pineapple upside down cake. No. That's what it's like. Yeah, it looks good. All right. Now you can see the tree glare, look. I'm going to scoop a bit of ice cream in there in a minute. I'm not going to do it yet because we're going to eat this first. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out this evening. Really appreciate it very much. We're going to go over and raid um, who is live. Let's go. We're going to go down a bit. Dave, thank you very much, mate. Um, let's have a look who is live. 
Wow, there's a ton of people alive. Um, yeah, there's not many people. that's like way down there. Though. Um, la, 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 la. She's speaking Spanish. Here we go. No, that's Anthony Bourdain. Can't go there. I'm the lowest one. Billy No Mates over here. Um, thank you guys very much. Uh, here we go. Mardi Gras celebration. I don't know what she's making. I have no idea. We're going to go over there and raid this young lady. She's doing some stuff for Mardi Gras. Rays. I put rays. What the heck? <clears throat> guys, take care. Don't forget, tomorrow is a Curry Club Wednesday. Back to making curry tomorrow. So if you're around, um, please pop in, 4 p.m. Eastern. And uh, if you're not, then that's your fault. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, all the support today.